now we are going to teach you the magic wind tools for that reason we are going to open an image file which is called the flag 17 going to open it maximize the file now select the magic wind tool now there is a one option called the tolerance which value we already given 20 now going to select any of the color now we are choosing the green color and select over it now it's showing some portion of that color is going to select it the selection is highlighting on the color but still some portion is remaining it happens only for the tolerance value now we are going to increasing the value of the tolerance now once again clicking over the color now the selection is perfect and clear it's totally covered the whole area of that particular color now control D the border is disappeared now there is another options called the contiguous the contiguous that when it is on and we are selecting any color it's just taking that particular color if it is there more than one then it will select particularly one now control D deselect that one and make the contiguous off now select the same color once again and it will select wherever the same light white color some bluish white color is there it will select thoroughly and the border is already showing on the image now go to the edit option copy select a new file press ok go to the edit menu press paste now the whole thing already appearing on the screen I mean the untitled file now close the application press no now we are going to teach you the crop tool for that reason we are going to once again opening an image which is called the flag 1 open maximize the image now select the crop tool now we are just drawing one square over the image the highlighted area is showing on the image and we can adjust it there is a called six vertex point we can pull each of the vertex point and make adjustable with the image and press enter on that moment the image is totally selected and treat as a single image now minimize that one and select the move tool and going to close the application now we are going to teach you the healing tool for that reason we are going to open an image like flower flower 17 open move to right hand side select the heal healing tool now press alter and click any portion if it is better you just click the center portion of the image now go to the new file click ok and rub thoroughly up and down left hand side of the new file now the image is occurring with little glowing effect yeah now we are going to close 
the application before closing the application we are going to teach another option continuously press the third bracket of the keyboard you can decrease your brush size and the closing third bracket continuously press then you can increase to your brush size now we are going to close the application press no now we are going to teach the next option which is called the brush tool using that tool you can draw whatever you wish you can select the color from the color palettes choose the red color deep red now just simply draw a parallel line a parallel line and we are watching the edges a little bit blur this is happens only for the brush is light brush I mean it's a soft brush we can show you how to choose the hard brush how to choose the soft brush now we are choosing the hard brush click on the brush now continuously pressing the closing third bracket we can draw now to parallel line yes we can see now the difference between the hard brush and the soft brush now control the Z for the step backward now there is another option which is called mode now before that we have to select the soft brush and increasing the brush size the mode is now in normal for that reason whatever we draw before that is we already shown once again we are going to show you now we are just selecting the dissolve option and drawing one line we can make defense there is a particles uh, of the red color of that particular line and we can change the opacity of the line according to our choice it's a little bit light now we can choose the mode in normal and we can see the difference of the opacity we can increase it 100 and it's as same as like the first one now we are going to close the application now the next step is clone tool clone tool is similar with the healing tool but the difference is when we are going to clone something it's not appearing us with a glowing effect it's like the same effect of the image now we are going to open an image called flower 0919 and selecting the clone tool and pressing the alter click once over the image select a new file press ok now once again rub thoroughly over the file the image is occurring it's appearing on the file but without glowing effect let's finish now now the cloning image is depend on to your brush uh, opacity 
and brush quality if it is soft brush then image quality is little bit light if it is hard brush the image is as like as the main image now it's a soft brush we can see the difference even we can change the opacity we can do anything according to our choice according to our wish according to the requirement now there is options called dissolves color burn and many more options now we are watching the dissolve option opacity is 32 increasing a little bit like 50 now 100 90 and we can make a different template or different image now we are going to closing the files close now we are going to teach you the pattern stamp tool which is similar with the process of clone tool for that reason we are going to open an image file like flower 002 now selecting the rectangular tool and feather is now 0 selecting any portion whatever you want the selection is over now go to the edit select define pattern and the name is appearing on the name palette you can keep at as it is or you can change any name press ok now you can open a new file press ok select the pattern tool once again and the pattern is highlighting on the pattern palettes it's treating as a brush color and it's just tiling over the white background file for designing the background or templates we can use this tool just rough over that it's a very simple process now we are going to close this file the right hand side file also now after completing the cloning tool I mean pattern stamp tool we are going to teach you the history brush tool for that reason we are going to open an image file suppose flower 016 is going to open it's going to maximize and drawing anything suppose somebody just did something mistake instead presence of you and you already made some design and you are getting something wrong over there to get back the same position what you did or whatever the image was you can use the history brush tool and rub over that particular image 
and you can get back the whole image which was in previous so this is the best tool control Z to see to show once again and select the rectangle tool the edit button fill and select the history press ok then that particular selection selected area is going to uh, come back in previous position now go to the edit option once again go to the fill history press ok the whole options I mean whatever above on that image is disappeared now we are going to teach you the eraser tool now we are selecting the magic eraser tool which is best for erasing for that reason we are going to open an image file select any image like flag 52 now we are maximizing the file and when the tolerance is 30 it's just selecting the particular one color and erasing it from that image now we can change the tolerance value control alt z for the step back we can give 60 I can we, we can see the difference now it's already over the second layer I means green color is disappear so it's very easy to erase something control alt z once again is for the step back we can see another option which is called the contiguous contiguous options when it is off and click any color it's just erasing all the same type of color when it is off but when it is on when the contiguous is on and you are clicking particular one color that color is going to disappear now control to Z once again for the step back and we are going to close that particular file after completing the using tool we are going to, to step for the next tool which is called the gradient tool it's the most important tool to make the templates or uh, making the background of the image we are going to open a new file maximize it select the gradient file there is a one color is already there and just click one point and go to the other end the gradient is appearing on the image now select linear gradient click one point drag it and release the mouse on the other end and we can see what's the linear gradient now we are going to show you the radial gradient select the middle point of the new file and go to the other end now we can see the radial gradient now we are just talking about the angle gradient click one point and come back diagonally to the other end we can see the one angle it's moving one point and coming back to the another point showing the angle gradient now we are going to teach you the reflect gradient click upper portions and come down and release the mouse button we can see the reflect radian now click on the diamond radian we can see the difference which is diamond gradient yeah it's a look like little bit diamond now control to z for the step backward now click over the color palettes and we can see so much presets 
and this is called the flag you can customize according to your choice or if you just drop down it's just disappearing minimum two flags should be there for the gradient more than two you can customize according to your choice you can move the flag wherever you want which portions should be more according to your choice the first gradient click over there click the color option and the color palette is appearing on the screen choose the color like yellow a little bit bright yellow a light yellow press ok the second one click the color option select the different color a blue color select the third flag select a bright a dark little bit blue color select the green one and go to the pink color or violet color whatever you choose whatever you want you can choose now the gradient is ready and clicking the next means your customized settings is going to save in that particular presets option press ok and choose any one according to your choice linear and make it out now control to z for the step backward i'm going to close that particular file after completing the gradient tool we are going to teach you the paint bucket tool for the reason we are going to open a new image flag 6 open it now select the paint select the paint bucket tool now the tolerance is 10 now we are going to select the color like pink color press okay and apply over the that particular one color we can see some spot this is happen only for the tolerance value of 10 now we can increase it 50 now see the difference if i click the whole selection is changing that particular solid color that means it's changing in pink color now we are just taking the yellow color and changing the red into yellow to fill the color this paint bucket tool is going to used now we are just changing this one little bit light sky color this much it's a very easiest tool to fill any color now we are going to close that particular file after completing the paint bucket tool we are going to the next step which is called the blur tool for the reason we are going to open an image one flower image select flower 007 or 009 any one of your choiceable flower press open now maximize it select the blur tool and rub over the image it's just blurring on the image that means the image is not uh, proper or we are not able to watch exactly which portion whenever we just see something from far we can use this tool to make it so much real 
and we can press F12 to come back to the same position now going to close the application the next tool is sharpen tool for that on we are going to open an image I show you a 5 open with the screen maximize it control plus for increasing the size now the strength is 50 and make it less strength call 13 increase the brush size and just apply on the face over the eyes over the lips over the eyes over the eyebrow it's it is just sharpening on the screen the total image sometimes it's not sharp properly using this tool we can sharp the image using the brush we can sharp any particular area where we can feel to sharp the border of the image or we can press F12 for once again to go to the previous image now we are going to close the file now select the smudge tool for that one we are going to open an image file same file I show you 5 maximize that file zoom in fit with the screen using the smudge tool we can morph the picture now the strength is 25 we are increasing we just given the value 44 percent we can adjust anything which is disorder with the face like eyebrows here style here position we can morph the picture lip size anything whichever we feel odd with the picture we can adjust it using the smudge tool when the smudge tools strength value is more then it is treated as a hard smudge tool and we can pull one particular area to one point to another point now control to Z for the step backward F12 to come back to the same position now we are going to close that particular file 